Hi guys, this is Ramasi, the project lead for Interbellum. I'm here with Void Chris, one of our community managers. We're going to be talking about testing today. Um, first thing is Void told me a couple days ago uh, that some of you guys think that our application is like a resume for a job. Uh, it's not that serious. Uh, the primary purpose of these questions is to make sure that you can follow directions and that uh, you actually want to test and come and have fun and have feedback. Um, the purpose of our phase four testers is to basically give us feedback. Uh, we make the joke that phase four is sponsored by Zinch, the Lord of Change, uh, because all of the feedback that our testers have given us has actually made us change quite a few things, two of which were actually major uh, systems. We actually changed the item FX system and the entire rebalancing of the classes to give a little bit more seconds to time to kill, some more GCDs. Uh, so please, please, please put in those applications, guys. It's You don't need that much effort to put into them. They don't need to be perfect, all right? Um, but once you put in that application and you get an account that'll be whispered to you, it'll be some kind of silly password. Um, but once that is done, you actually get access to the rest of these tester channels here, uh, where you get the primary one is setup. Uh, so when you go in there, you'll get this launcher right here. You put the launcher in your Warhammer folder, you launch it, and it will patch the client for you. If you do not already have a client from another server or from playing Age of Reckoning back in the day, we can get you one. Uh, and I gotta wait for it to launch. Want to say anything, Void? Uh, nothing really, but I mean, at the end of the day, um, having more testers is always going to have positive feedback for the server. Um, the biggest thing is too, is at least, you know, if we can at least try to get more people to be, uh, reactive to even like for current testers or even newer ones in the future to be as, um, active on the scheduling as well as anything that's upcoming, because we want to make sure we're being as transparent, but also making sure that we are at, at properly setting expectations on when certain tests are being taken place, and we can actually like create big groups if needed, or if it's small groups, uh, compositions, you name it. So uh, that's primarily uh, um, nothing right. major, but you know, just just you know. So whenever you first uh, come into the game, you're going to have this screen right here where you've got uh, several different classes sh uh, showing up for you to create. Because obviously you won't have the characters uh, already there like I did. And now I'm just waiting for them to actually load in because they're doing the spirally thing, which they do sometimes. There we go. Give me a zealot. Thank you. Uh, so I'm creating a zealot because that class just came out uh, on Monday, and I have not actually put one on the official test server. And duplicate name. Oops. We'll just do that. Hmm. But yeah, once you create them and you load in, um, you will load in right next to the gear vendor because currently uh, you will be alone and naked uh, whenever you spawn because I removed all the starting gear because, like I said, we already we changed the item affix system. So originally I had built starter gear for everybody, but we actually scrapped it uh, because the time to kill was too high. So we had to lower... We had to change gear to have more default resistances on it. Uh, I love that the loading screen tooltip that I got was when will insert content be finished? Two weeks, of course. Yeah. Um, but Gotta yeah. thank Janice for that. Yeah. So when you, <laughs> when you spawn in, uh, there will be NPCs all in your war camp. Of course, as a uh, cultist, I am a Destro player. Notice I spawn in this. Right here is your vendor. Uh, talismans are on the top. But we also have pre-built, easy-to-understand gear. So, for example, if you want to be a super tanky character, you literally buy the items that say, of the super tanky, with the description for those so focusing on self-defense. Uh, because you don't have weapons, uh, we actually have arms dealers right here. They have pretty much every weapon uh, in the game that you can equip. Um, because on Interbellum, weapons don't have stats, so you just pick whichever one you like to see. Um, there are other vendors around. There's a Fashion Hammer vendor, which currently apprentice items don't work, but you can still see them if you want your character to be pretty. You've got, uh, Hell Barrels over here, which are, if you want to test, like, just, 
to try things out on uh, targets. Uh, a note about Hellbells is currently um, they don't regenerate health or respawn. So if they get low, just press the test 99 and it will heal all of them. Like it did just there. Uh, there's a mount vendor right here. We've got all kinds of mounts. Uh, most of these are testers testing of uh, mount rigging. So for example, the scarab right here, which is one of my favorite things that I've put mount animations on too. Um, I also showcase the different types of mount stats that we're going to have. Um, he's riding the bear. <laughs> I, I it's love a the bear too. Bear. Although it looks weird on the goblin. one. It, it does. Um, we will have uh, randomized items because we had this previously, but like I said, we did scrap the item system. They will have randomized items on vendors like this. Like This oh, guy will have shoulders on him because obviously his name is Shoulder. Uh, Void actually made all of these NPCs look like uh, classes with their um, hard specializations, by the way. Um, let's see. Uh, the primary purpose of testing is to uh, join scheduled events. We want people to have PvP um, and come and talk about it. So they want them to, we want to have fights, and we want you to tell us what's fun, what's not fun. Um, and we post, every Sunday, we post a whole bunch of schedule events. Um, and we need you to hit that, that you know, green check mark or that X. Um, just so that we know when we should schedule so that we can get people on the server and playing, alright? Uh, that's the primary purpose. Like I said, we have changed quite a few things based off tester feedback. Um, so... I'm going to go ahead and fly to the Order War Camp and show them that stuff, and you can talk about the, uh, the end stuff of the video there, Void, while I do that. Uh, which end and stuff? Oh, well, that's right. Um, so basically, uh, we wanted to make sure that if anybody were to be watching the video, just go ahead and just send me like a PM of like, um, what's your favorite color? Things like that, so at least I can be able to know on for testers specifically if they're, uh, if they're for anybody who's at least watching this there. Um, want to be able to know for a few reasons but it's also for it's a little social experiment at this point so I don't have to worry about it too much there um that also being said I'm trying to find you at the war camp oh, I'm just I'm by the vendors oh okay cool uh, anything else you want to say about our testing um other than that just making sure that we have everybody uh it's just I want to be able to make sure that we, we can actually see a lot of people join in um, a lot more than what we currently have anyways and just make sure that we can actually like properly get you know the large scale uh, large scale gameplay inside there and, and actually get a feel for it because uh it's, it's only gonna get better from uh, from like from today on so yep uh, last thing we, I, we do have a test document um, that is in setup this test document does actually show everything that we are currently working on. Um, or new things that have happened. Our patch days are usually on Mondays. Uh, we do have like bug fixes between like mon e each set of Mondays, but we do have like content patches on Monday. Like for example, mon this Monday was the Great Rebalancing plus the Cultists, uh, which is why I was created a Cultist on this video. Uh, we'll put any known issues we currently have. Uh, bug reports go in this channel right here. You can see that uh, Grawlerlim actually just made one four minutes ago. Um, I clean these out when I fix them, and I keep track of who actually posts them. Um, that's all I have for this testing video. If Void doesn't have anything else, I'm going to close it. Yeah, it's literally, I'm perfectly fine right now. All right. See you guys in combat.